Hi, it's early September and welcome back to the Silage Zone. The past 10 days we've been out looking at a lot of fields and doing our early look at normal chop versus high chop or a 12 inch difference from 8 inches to 20 inches. And I think everybody recalls over the past three years we've been doing this that typically we know that the growing environment has a huge impact especially on the fiber digestibility of our corn silage crop. So we go out and take an early look to see if we can kind of predict how that crop's going to feed and maybe give growers such as yourself an opportunity to make a change on your chop height based on your inventories and the quality of forages you have on the farm. So just a little bit of a refresher why we do this. We know that if with a higher chop we typically can improve the overall digestibility of our pile. Whether it's increasing the starch content or the fiber digestibility with the higher chop one of those things that we can do with that higher chop. We can ha take the opportunity to customize the overall forage program on the farm with that higher or lower chop. And then of course you can always look at forward contracting with byproducts if you know what your crop's going to be to complement the total forages on the farm and plus it helps you manage that whole residue soil organic matter piece. So. I'm going to show you the trials that we base all of this on. There's been, I think, approximately 18 studies here that we've looked at over the time with controlled studies at universities that typically show about a 2.5 to 3.5% decrease in yield for every 4 inches higher that you chop than normal on your crop. You're going to see about a 6% to 8% increase in starch content with a 12 inch cut difference over normal chop height. And typically with that 12 inch cut difference, you're gonna see about a five and a half to six and a half percent improvement in NDFD 30 numbers, not points, percentage improvement. And you can see from the studies where those numbers come out. Another little refresher though, that we gotta always keep in mind and why we do this the past four years is that we know growing environment, as you can see from this piece that we've used several times from Michigan, how important growing environment is on the NDFD 30 content of our corn silage crop. You can see from that chart, in 2007 when it was a drier year, those hybrids that were planted in the same plot two years in a row, one being somewhat of a dry year, one being a wet year, all of those hybrids improved in digestibility in 2007 in that drier year. And you can even see from the chart where a lot or many, somewhere it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the non BMR hybrids had higher fiber digestibilities in the dry year than the BMR did in the wet year. That's just to show you how impactful that growing environment is. So what have we found so far this year? So far this year across Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin, northeast and north central, and we're doing northwest this week, we found out that we're getting about a 5.3 percent improvement in starch, which is close to that range of 6 to 8, and the NDFD 30 is only 2 percent better on the higher chopped corn silage. So from what we can tell, from what we've gotten in from data so far, the indications are is that we've got an extremely high fiber digestibility corn silage crop in Wisconsin this year. And with good weather to finish out here in September, we could have a great starch content too. So could be a year that if you need a little extra tonnage and you want to drop your chop height a little bit, you shouldn't get penalized on your fiber digestibility and still be able to pick up some tonnage. Here in the next two weeks, across Wisconsin, your Pioneer sales agencies are gonna be doing a lot of burn downs to let you know where we're at on silage harvest, along with the new silage staging program that many of the agencies are taking advantage of to predict the days and the order of your fields to be harvested. So, if you have any questions, please reach out to me or to your Pioneer sales agency, and we'll keep you on track with this 2022 corn silage harvest in Wisconsin. Thanks and have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.